let's try this again and wait for people to filter in here. I tried uh, changing rooms, so maybe this will work. I'm just destined to run around today. <laughs> I was able to end it. The button popped up so that I could end it um, when I came in this room. There's so much sun coming in from over here, and I don't have a way to stop it. Um, oh, well. Hi again. I kind of want to go in another window and check my internet speed to make sure it's okay, but... <laughs> I don't have time for that. <laughs> so um, Luke probably will be up here in a minute. I don't know why he's not in here. He usually follows me everywhere. <laughs> don't move. <sighs> I'm out of breath, y'all. <laughs> Hi, everyone. Okay. Whew. This is my little pocket office. And um, yeah, okay, I hope everybody can make it back in here. I don't know if it's notifying everybody. The lighting is not optimal. We're just gonna have to roll with the punches. <sighs> Luke, where are you? Luke, what's up with that? <sighs> okay, I'm trying to like turn myself. Um, I was getting ready. Oh, Becky, you're so sweet. She says, you look beautiful in any light. <laughs> so sweet. I beg to differ, but <laughs> depends on the day, Becky. It depends on the day. Um, so let's see. Let's pull up some of these Q&A things. I know. I hope it's working. Is there any pixelating or anything? Does everything look pretty okay from your end? The lighting's good. I know. <laughs> Tony, he, Tony says, he's like, I'm making sure you stay there before I come in. So it's funny you say that because a lot of times I will go in and out of rooms when I'm putting things away or doing something. And he follows me every time and will plop down. And I'm like, you know, I'm not staying in here. Why did you follow me? <laughs> and I feel bad. Like he just wastes so much energy following me, settling in. And then I just turn around and leave. <sighs> what you going to do? I'm so glad you guys have made it back in here. I don't think we have everybody we had before, but <sighs> wow, I've never had that happen before. I mean, I've buffered before, but usually if you um, refresh your screen, that takes care of it. It's not usually a me thing. It's usually a YouTube thing. And I don't know if that was me or YouTube or the stars just didn't align in my favor or what. <laughs> Becky had to give a new thumbs up. Yes, you guys, give me a thumbs up if you don't mind. I know I'm guilty of that too, I forget, but it really does help our videos do better and get promoted out more. So <laughs> it would be great. Ah, I had to take some water. Um, so I am going to pull up some of these Q&A questions. <laughs> Thanks, Jennifer, <laughs> um, for the thumbs up. She gave me a thumbs up. Um, so the first question, and look, I have only like glanced at a couple of these just when I was loading them. I didn't even have time to look at them. I feel like I have been just nonstop since probably last week. It is wet and raining in northern Louisiana. It is perfectly sunny here. I don't even know if we're supposed to get rain soon. And I don't have a window covering on this at all. I don't know why I never put anything on here. I guess because we're not in this room that much. And there's our neighbors can't really see in here. And then I have pocket doors, not a pocket door, like little double doors. So you can't really see into our main living area if I close that. So um I love seeing where you guys are from. It's so awesome. Uh, Joey, I am in my little pocket office. It's just an office. So like you see the cabinets and the desk right behind me. And that's pretty much where it ends. And then in front of me is the same thing, except it's not a desk. There's file cabinetry and then also cabinets above me. And um our laundry room is kind of like on the that the over here in front of me 
And then there's a guest bathroom and then it goes into our living area. So it's just kind of like the size of office I need because we just don't have a lot of stuff. I mean, it's not the size of office I need now because now I need a beauty room. <laughs> this is what we have. So when I was um, working full time, like and in, in my car all the time, I really didn't need anything. We just needed a place to store things and for the kids to do homework. And that's what we have. Well, now that I am social media consulting full time and YouTubing full time and doing all these other platforms and I need places to store things. And now that I'm here all the time, now I need, <laughs> I need an office, a big room. How long have we lived in the house we are in? We built this house in 20... What year are we in? <laughs> 20, I want to say since 2012 is when we moved in this house. What eyeshadow are we wearing today? Are we wearing today? Not we. I. I am wearing the a new um, one of the new Tom Ford limited edition quads. Um, it's the one with the beigey peachy tones, and I can't remember the exact name of it, Deborah but I will look it up. I am going to be covering the Beautylish gift card event this year, which I've not done before, but I've really been getting more into Beautylish lately because um, they carry different brands and they carry, they do carry all prices. I used to think it was all high end only like luxury, but it's not. Um, it is the Tom Ford Soleil Eye Color Quad 03 Soleil Diver, I think is what you call it. D apostrophe H I V E R. It's very pretty, very wearable. So thank you very much. I'm glad you can see it. I had a little eye infection thing going on, or not an infection, a little rash, kind of a reaction thing I had last week. It happens sometimes when I'm stressed and I don't know. Um, and I feel like it's kind of dying down over here. <laughs> so I, I feel like my eyes look a little uneven today. Um, oh, Joey says, thank you for showing the, um, alter ego Sahara palette. She loves it. And it's not $129. It's a great palette. That quality is amazing. And Susan loves Beautylish and you just ordered good molecules from them. That is a brand I'm going to be talking about for sure. Um, Becky loves that Tom Ford palette. I could not resist <laughs> some of the Tom Ford things uh, this year. Uh, I will be talking about them very soon. Ooh, we have some, but Stefania. I was actually named after a book called Stefania. Um, she says, aloha and good morning from Hawaii. Probably my favorite place on the earth, Hawaii. Um, Mimi Judy Bug has a quick question for me before she leaves for an appointment. Have I had good luck with Elf Putty Primer and how did you do it? I haven't tried the Elf Putty Primer. So I'm not sure. I'm sorry I can't help you with that question. Um, Roberta found me from my double wear application video, I think a year or two ago, and you use my technique to this day. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much for being here and for telling me that. I'm glad it helped you. Um, Jasmine wants to know if I've, had, if I've tried ColourPop and what are my favorite products. I think ColourPop has some of the best, most cost-effective eyeshadows out there. And I also love the... Um, the singles, and I'm blanking out on the names, it's just the texture. Oh my gosh, I'm blanking out on the names. Um, and their highlighters are also very, very good. And I actually really like the um, Ultra Glossy Lip. Um, I, I just, I like them a lot. Kelly wants to know what the best advice I can give a woman, almost 50, who is starting back into makeup. Oh, this chat is moving fast. <laughs> um, okay, that is the next question I see. Super Shock. That was the name of the ColourPop thing. Super Shock. Thank you. Um, I, for a woman 50 just getting into makeup, I think going very um, basic, almost using kind of beginner type makeup things, which you would think of would, you know, would be for a younger person, but not really. I think just going with basics and finding um, you know, a foundation that works for you. I don't think at 50, you don't need heavy coverage, something that sits on your skin and nicely and it looks like skin and enhance just evens out your skin tone, I guess. Um, 
finding a concealer. I think concealer under the eyes is something that a lot of people think they don't need, but most people need, especially as they get a little older, it's just hard to find the right one. And I think that's why people think they can't wear it because they haven't found the right one, but it does help you look more youthful and more awake. A neutral colored shadow, a lash curler and mascara could be your friend. <laughs> so that's kind of what I would say. And one big piece of advice, I think for anyone that is not in their twenties or early thirties is that old adage of putting blush on the apples of your cheeks, go a little bit higher. Because if you put it on the apples, on the apples of your cheeks, when you're older and your apples are now down here, it's going to drag your face down. You want to put it up a little bit higher because it'll give a lift to your face. So, um, let's see. I got to scroll up a little bit because there was a question. Um, someone asked, do I use any drunk elephant with fidelity? I'm not sure what that means, Sheila, what with fidelity. Um, can you re-ask that um, or, or clarify? Um, Car Walters, how about talking about different brushes and what to use when? Um, and oily skin moisturizer. So Car, I'm going to direct you to my skincare routine playlist because I talk about moisturizers in that and what I use for me and I do get oily in my t-zone and so you will get moisturizer recommendations for morning and night in my recent skincare uh, routine I keep wanting to say my recent skincare review no my recent skincare routine um, different brushes I'm going to do a video on brushes very soon because that's been requested a lot lately so yes I am in the process of trying Good Molecules. I've tried several things, Lynn, from Good Molecules, and I've been liking them a lot. I'm still not so sure, I can, or I'm, I'm unsure as to why the squalane is so darn tiny. <laughs> someone, Imar 5D, I, I'm going to apologize if I pronounce someone's name wrong, first of all, um, says this is a good idea. It feels like therapy. <laughs> I am your makeup therapist. Um, GLN gal. I never know how to say your name. <laughs> You're always here and I love you. Um, GLN gal nine says, have you tried the persona pink palette? Been wanting to try it, but wondering about the intensity. I don't have the pink palette. I was sent the coral palette because of my blue eyes, but persona shadows are consistent across the board no matter if you have her bigger palettes or the color theory palettes I think that's what they're called color story color theory so the pink is going to be consistent in intensity with the coral palette and it is there but it is not an in intimidating intensity you can tap it off go a little lighter if something is a little too intense I will tap off my brush Although I don't find fallout with persona to be too much. I'll tap off my brush a little bit and then I'll kind of tap it once just onto the back of my hand to get that first, you know, lay down off a little bit. So it just doesn't, you know, leave too much of a blending out thing going on. But persona shadows are so easy to blend out. They really are. And her shadows are some of the best quality I've ever used. I don't think you can go wrong. If you're wanting pink shadows, that is what I would get. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. Uh, Armand, oh gosh, I'm way behind. I scrolled up and then I never scrolled back down. <laughs> um, double wear for older women. Kim loves it. Okay, y'all are talking about concealers. I may have missed the initial question. The Armani concealer. Oh, I'm glad Marie says this is her first ever live on YouTube and you're liking it so far. Yay! Okay, that's awesome. I try to keep it just personable, personable and personal. I mean, I know sometimes you can get in these and they're very stiff or... I don't know. It doesn't feel like a conversation and I just like everything to be 
conversational. So I have never, Susan, never, I have not tried the clay de Poe concealer. And I know Grace from Everyday Evit. I, I never can talk. I always stumble over my words. I get excited. Grace from Everyday Edit. If you don't follow her channel, I've shouted her out before. She's really great. Everyday Edit is the name of her channel. Write it down. Go check her out. She's very sweet and calming, and she does review a lot of luxury things, but she's very thorough in what she reviews, and she does love the Clay de Po concealer, and I need to try it. I do. Um... I also want to tell you guys, because I've had a couple of comments lately, this is totally off topic. There are a lot of political ads that are starting to show on our channels. And I've gotten some comments that they're complaining about them and they're like, I'm gonna unsubscribe from you if I see one more X ad on your channel. We don't have any control over that. We have no control over what types of ads, whether they're political or, you know, a certain medication or whatever. We have no control over that. I mean, I just always assume that people knew that because, you know, TV shows have no control over what plays on, you know, their a syndicated show doesn't have any control over, you know, whatever's playing. I don't think maybe they do, but we don't know. Like our stuff runs and whatever advertisers pop up, pop up. We have no idea. So I just want to clarify that, let you guys know, because, uh, you know, when someone is like, I'm about to unsubscribe from your channel because of this ad, I'm like, I, <laughs> We can't control that. That is not our fault. And I would hope that you wouldn't unsubscribe from me if you're liking my content because of an ad that I had no control over. Okay, that's it. Rant over. Um, yes, the concealer thing is real. Concealers, they're a struggle. So, um, yeah, the ones that I love, I have gone over this before. I have a video on concealers. I have a concealer playlist and check out my playlist. You guys, I categorize my playlists very strategically so that if you're looking for something specific, you can find it. Um, oh, Sheila. Okay. I, um, will address your question in a second. Um, I just discovered a new concealer. This week, you guys are gonna hate me, maybe, or you're gonna be like, what the heck, Stephanie? But um, the combination that I have underneath my eyes right now, oh my gosh, it's so bougie. And I love it. <laughs> so, uh, um, okay, but first I'll talk about what I've loved before. Uh, the Armani, like Armani's not bougie, but Armani Power Fabric Concealer is one of my favorite, favorite, favorites. The Too Faced Sculpting Concealer, which is, I think, a great value for the money because it's huge and it's not atrociously priced. That is a great, great, great concealer. The Bare Minerals Stick Concealer. Um, I hate stick concealers, but that one is wonderful. I like to apply it, rub my finger on it, warm it up, and then apply it under my eyes. It's great. Um, there's one that I just tried. Oh, the Milani. <laughs> it's like, that doesn't crease a lot. It's really good. Um, the Milani I think is, is good as well for a drugstore option. Milani Conceal and Perfect. I just tried the, okay. And for the corrector, most of you know, for about a year and a half, I've been using nothing else as a corrector other than the total, Color Science Total Eye 3 in 1. And I talked about that in my skincare routine, as well as in my multi-purpose makeup products, which that video didn't get quite as many views as I thought it would. But I talked about that in that video because it's expensive, but there's a reason because it does other things, things that no other under eye product has done for me. So I tried finally the Charlotte Tilbury, what is it called? Airbrush Away Corrector, the little corrector. I don't have any of my beauty stuff in here because I'm in my office, so I can't show you. I had it right next to me in the other room um, this week and last week. I guess it was kind of within a two week span. I tried that and the Jeffree Star Concealer. <laughs> It's my first Jeffree Star product, and I kept hearing about how good it was, 
and I topped it with the Biteri translucent powder. I keep doing this. The combination is beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Very, very smooth. And actually, I am not even quite sure if I have to set the Jeffree Star concealer. It's really good, <laughs> really good. And it applies like a dream. Every time I've applied it, I've been like, what, what is happening? I sit there and I just marvel at how beautiful it looks. That's it. Okay. Um, Persona makes good look. I'm going to move on from the concealer because I'm like sounding ridiculous. Okay. Have you used Drunk Elephant consistently for a period of time? Sheila, I have an entire brand review on the entire Drunk Elephant line because I have used every single Drunk Elephant product at some point in my skincare routine for an extended period of time. So you can search Stephanie Marie Drunk Elephant and I believe that's the first video that will come up in YouTube. I mean, for, for not the first video on YouTube, but It'll, it's one of the top results. Actually, it probably will be because it's my name and Drunk Elephant. So search that. It will come up. And it's a long video, but I have timestamps in it for that reason. Because it was meant to be a video that would help people if they're wanting to know more. It's not sponsored. It is just how things have worked for me from Drunk Elephant. That's it. I just feel like it would be beneficial for people. So, um, yes, Marlene, Persona makes great lip glosses. Have I tried anything from the Inky line? Gretchen wants to know the Inky list. I have tried the retinol and I talked about it once kind of briefly in a video. I thought it was good. It agreed with my super sensitive skin, but it did not do that much for me because I use stronger retinol products. But I think for someone who's just starting out with retinol, it would probably be a good product. It just didn't do that much. It didn't, show any results for me, I guess. Um, perfect. Kitties for mom plus one. What do you think about powder foundation, Stephanie? Any good ones? That is what my video is going to be on Thursday. So <laughs> assuming I get it filmed and up by Thursday afternoon. So stay tuned. I can't decide if it's going to be just my top powder foundations or if I'm going to make it my best and worst. That's what it's going to be. And yes, stay tuned. I'm going to keep you in suspense. Um, let's see. Oh, Michelle Wong is in here. I didn't even see because I'm so behind in the chat. <laughs> um, my phone is ringing. That is not good timing. And I don't know who that is. I'm so behind on the chat, you guys. Uh, let's see. We got lots of raves for Clay to Poe up in here. Okay. I might have to have you guys um, re-ask some of these questions because I think I'm going to have to just scroll on down in the chat to catch up. Valerie wants to know how you block certain ads on YouTube. I'm not sure. I know if you get the YouTube Red membership, you won't see ads at all. Because I know Michelle Wong and I have YouTube Red and we never see ads. So I don't really know. I'm not bothered by ads because I don't see them. So that is my suggestion. If you are bothered by ads, that is something you can do. And you also can kind of have YouTube running in the background while you're doing other things. You can minimize the screen. It'll still run. It doesn't stop like it does if you don't have it. <clears throat> yeah, um, let's see, Clay de Poe, Clay de Poe. Um, yes, and Michelle Wong loves the Clay de Poe too. I know that. But they have, oh wait, no, they have a rose scent. Okay. Okay, Michelle Wong says, the Clay de Poe Radiant Creamy Concealer for Eyes has a rose scent, which might bother some people. Their stick concealer doesn't have a scent and has a bit more coverage. That's good to know. I was wondering about that. Perfect. Kelly McFarlane wants to know, she has super dark circles around her entire eye area, including the lids. Should you use a color corrector on the lids as well? Um, I, 
And Amanda says, I'm cracking her up. I know I tend to just be all over the place in these things. It happens. I guess I should just start being like this in my videos too. <laughs> it's more sporadic. These moments are more sporadic in my videos. Um, I would suggest if you have discoloration in your whole eye area, I mean, I always use a corrector because it does, I guess, help prevent that gray cast that concealer can give if you don't put the corrector underneath. But if you find using just concealer on your lids helps correct, then only use concealer. But if you find you also, you're still getting a weird cast on your lids, then try corrector. I mean, a lot of this stuff is just trial and error, right? I mean, because we, we're all different. What works for me may not work for you. Um, you know, I personally only use concealer or a tinted, um, hello, I just blanked out on the name, um, or a tinted primer. Um, it's been a long day already. Uh, so yeah, so for you, you really might need that corrector. So it's going to be, you know, really just kind of what works for you, I think. Um, a lot of people are loving that Jeffree Star concealer. Mm -hmm. Oh, and Michelle really likes my drunk elephant video. Thank you, Michelle. Okay, I do not have my Jeffree Star concealer in here to tell you the shade. I always try and list what we talk about in these chats in the description box once it ends. So I will do that for this video and I'll be sure and put my shade in there. And I always update my concealer shade match list on my blog. So I will be updating that as well. My, so if you guys don't follow me on my blog or if you're not aware, um, most of my videos, I have my foundation shade match list and my concealer shade match list links it links over to my blog and i keep a running list of all of my foundation shades and all my concealer shades that i ever try i think the last count there were like 88 foundations on there so let's see yes you do have to use corrector very 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 lightly Oh, Nikki, you're so sweet. She said, let's smash that like button for the lovely host. <laughs> 122 people and only 20, 28 likes. Oh, you're so sweet. Um, Kelly McFarlane says, JS is kind of off-putting. I feel like I used to feel that way, but he has really <laughs> grown on me. I, I, he's grown on me. Uh, um, I don't know. I just kind of started watching some stuff and I don't know. He seems... Like he has good intentions or something. I don't know. Everybody's going to have their own opinions, but I don't know. I've kind of gotten caught up on some of that drama, which I've never paid attention to before. And I'm like, hmm. Hi, Tori. Let's see. Um, he does have bright colors in his palettes. Thank you for smashing that like button. I really appreciate it. <laughs> so look, I'm opening up some of these Q&A. Jeffree Star is who we're talking about. Go film, Michelle. Do what I need to be doing at some point today, but may not happen until tomorrow. <laughs> the Jeffree Star Concealer. Let me look it up on Beautylish. That is where I got it from. Um, and the packaging is a showpiece. I mean, you're right. I don't know why it wouldn't be good because it, he really does put a lot of thought into his products. It's only $22. It's not that bougie. I thought it really was. It has 4.7 stars. Guys, that's a lot. I'll talk to you later, Michelle. Yeah, okay. So Jamie says, same. I wasn't into the whole Jeffree Star thing. And after watching Beyond All the Drama, he really cares and understands makeup and the products. Yeah, I've been keeping up with... Um, the whole thing he's doing with Shane Dawson with the series and then Shane Dawson with the Dolan twins. I mean, what am I freaking 12? But, <laughs> but, um, I have a whole, I don't know, different viewpoint of him now, especially after all that drama with James Charles and all that. I'm like, I don't know. I kind of really feel like he's just trying to do his thing and, I know I do. I've always ignored the drama and then I just kind of felt like, I don't know, but what color corrector is too thick? 
Jeffree Star? Yes, he does seem very down to earth. I mean, except when he drops like 60 grand in a store. <laughs> but just talking with people, he seems very just nice, which is not what I thought of him based on just his impression, which was wrong of me. I mean, we can't all judge people like that. I was judging. So hi, Savannah. Oh, I haven't tried his correctors, but I do like the Charlotte Tilbury new one. And I'm, it's different than other correctors. I feel like I need less of it and I apply it thinner than other correctors. So I don't know, it's different. And I also feel like the hydration underneath my eye needs to be pressed in more when I use the Charlotte Tilbury corrector for it to look smoother. But my eyes still look very hydrated. <laughs> MR5D says, I'm judgy. I guess everyone deserves a chance. I mean, everybody's got a little bit of judginess in them, right? So I'm, you know, I'm, I'm trying to better myself a little bit more each day. And that's one way you can do it, right? <laughs> um, okay, so I haven't read one of these questions, but I have been answering your questions. So it's still a Q&A, right? And here's another one. Katrina, what is the best mascara to use on the lower lashes? And Amy says, howdy, Stephanie. Hi. Hi there. Um, the best mascara for the lower lashes in my humble opinion is mac giga black lash something in the blue tube i freaking love it and it doesn't claim to be waterproof but it does not smudge it does not flake it's got a tiny tiny wand and it's a long tiny wand so you can go boop, boop, and your whole lower lash line is done i love it and i have been using my tube for way longer then is healthy, <laughs> I need to get a new one myself. But there's still tons of product in there. I just feel like it's it's, it's past its prime. I know it's past its prime and it, it's getting a smell. So um, yeah, that might be what partially contributed to my little eye reaction to, I think a bunch of things lined up. I also used to use the Clinique Lower Lash and the um, Maybelline Lash Discovery. Both of those are good too, but I feel like, well, I mean, I the Mac is better. I just, I like it better. And I feel like it lasts longer without drying up. Thank you so much, Maggie. She says, I look beautiful today. Amy, what, is there a good eyelash curler in the drugstore? Are there any? I went through um, a period where I was testing out a bunch of different eye curlers from the drugstore, from Ulta, uh, where you should Sephora, you name it. And I was going to do this comparison and then it never happened. But regardless, I still tried out all these lash curlers and none of them from the drugstore. Uh, at least they didn't work for my eye shape. So, and, and I also feel like lash curlers are so, it's such a personal thing depending on your eye shape. You know, there's some people that love the, Sephora, the Sephora, the Shiseido. There's some that love the shoe. There's some that love, you know, the Surat. It just, the shoe doesn't work for me at all, but some people love it. It digs into the corners of my eyes and it doesn't curl the middle lashes as much in order for me to, to get the outer lashes. It just doesn't work. The Shiseido works beautifully. The Surat, like I know my friend Risa loves the Surratt way more than the Shiseido, but the Shiseido gets my outer lashes a little bit better and the Surratt comes in second for me. <laughs> so the Tweezer Man, they're not as good. The Japanesque isn't as good. I just didn't find one from the drugstore that worked as well for me. Um, let's see. Isabel, oh, my throat. Um, uh, Isabel says, what do you think about the Tatcha Pearl Illuminator for under the eyes? I have quite a lot of other eye, under eye wrinkles. Welcome. Um, will it work for me? I did not try that because when I 
mess with it in the store, it felt drier than my uh, Color Science Total Eye. It didn't offer as many benefits and it was still super expensive. So I was thinking if I'm going to pay what I'm going to pay for something that is going or correct or under my eyes. I'm going to stick with my t total eye from color science. So I, I didn't invest in the Tatcha. It could be great for what it does, but it still didn't offer me the same amount of benefits and it's still expensive. So I can't give you my official opinion on that. Sorry. <laughs> Annie, thank you. She says her daughter and I watch all of my videos and love me because I'm down to earth and pretty. Oh, you're so sweet. It feels weird to read stuff like that. <laughs> but thank you so much. <laughs> I appreciate that. Um, Gina asked if I've ever used a heated lash curler. I received one in PR from Mira Ness and it ended up as a fail in a video. I thought it was crappy. <laughs> and there's another honest PR review for you. <laughs> I just, and I still get PR from Miranas. I don't know if they ever saw that or not, but I, I, it, it didn't do anything for me. I just thought it was crappy and it took too long to, um, <laughs> bubbles says, or like when Emily did that one video and put it in your bra. <laughs> I have not tried Shiseido's new foundation and concealer. It's, it, they're on my list to try. So Kelly just verified that the Tatcha Pearl, the under eye is drying. Thank you for verifying that for me. Deborah says, do I have a video on favorite hair tools or products? Yes, I do have some hair videos. I have a playlist that is, it's titled something about skincare and hair reviews or routines. Actually, I have two. One is reviews and one is skin and hair care routines. And it's in there. I have a couple of hair routine videos um, where I talk about my routine and some favorite things. Thank you, Isabel. Loves my videos all the way from New Zealand. That's awesome. Peggy, have I tried the primer from It Cosmetics, Your Skin But Better Makeup Primer? It is in my Sephora or my Ulta wish list. <laughs> so you guys are giving me all kinds of compliments today. My personality is just as beautiful as I am on the outside. Thank you. Okay, wait. Why, why in, in why, why Naz? I, uh, I, it's a long name here. Um, FYI, there are a bunch of great lipsticks on sale at Nordstrom online, Tom Ford, Estelar, and Mac. Thank you. Thank you for sharing that very much. Um, that's awesome. So I had somebody um, in, on Instagram ask me how old I was. <laughs> that was one question, which is funny because I feel like I say that all the time over here, but on Instagram, there's not quite as much of an overlap. So um, I am 44 for those of you who don't know. Um, what brand of lipstick do I like to not dry and yet last well? The new Mac Love Me lipsticks are really nice. They're not dry and they last well. I like the Becca. Can't remember the name. They're fairly new in the gold tube. Those are good. And um, I literally just thought of some. Um, well, I like the Charlotte Tilbury uh, Matte Revolution, but I know they're drying for some people. But I usually wear lip balm, a light layer of lip balm underneath my lipsticks. And that helps them last a little bit longer. And um, I'm trying to think what else offhand. Bite Beauty. I know they're about to reformulate their lipsticks. They've already done this once to me, and I lost a favorite color. And so I'm hoping if they reformulate, I'm not going to totally lose my favorite colors. And I hate to go buy my favorite shades because then I feel like I can't wear them on screen anymore because they're gone. So. Those are probably, those are the ones that come to mind first. Uh, Kelly would like to know, best advice and product in your opinion for reducing pore size? Niacinamide. 
I really, really love Polish Choice Niacinamide Booster. I also love, 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 love um, the Amore Pacific Essence. Both of those are phenomenal. Phenomenal at reducing pore size, the look and the size of pores. Love them both. Gretchen wants to know if I'm still working my corporate marketing job. You see, so involved with your social media life, which is a wonderful thing for us. No. <laughs> so I talked about this briefly in last week's live, but I know not all of you were in there. So in <clears throat> towards the end of the summer, I quit my full time sales, customer service job to do social media consulting and YouTube and content creator stuff full time. So I am for the first time in my 44 years, not working for someone else. And it is crazy. <laughs> so, um, but you know, I could not comfortably do that without reaching a certain level of comfortability, comfortability, that's not a word, comfort, uh, or financial stability, I will say, because I think a lot of people want to jump in and do this full time, you know, oh, I've met my income level, you know, where I was with my corporate job or whatever, but there's a lot of hidden costs to doing that. Um, so Lisa says, congratulations. And oh, you guys are all saying congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> um, so yeah, I mean, you know, you have to think about your 401k, your health insurance, your life insurance. You know, we just had our son go off to college and our daughter does a bazillion and one things that cost money. And um, so, yeah, so it is, um, it was a little scary, but it was time. It was time. I was not happy where I was and I, this is my passion. I want to help people. I want to be creative and I really, really want to get the social media side of things going. I'm in the middle of revamping that website and I was loving doing the consultations, but I was having to be so selective about them because I just didn't have time. So now, of course, <laughs> now uh, my friend Michelle and I um, also, you know, kind of went full time at the same time. And we both were like, I thought we were supposed to have more hours in our day, not working full time, but we feel like we have zero free time now. But I think it's because we're both um, perfectionists. And when you're doing what you love every day, you want to do it all the time and you want to just put out more and more content and do more and more and more. So, um, so yeah, I just, I'm very thankful, very thankful. And yeah, this is it. So a lot of self-discipline involved, um, for both sides, you know, just to get up and kind of have a routine. And then there's, you know, the self-discipline to not keep working into the nighttime hours as well. Um, you know, and I don't want things to change on any of my channels or platforms in terms of, you know, content or engagement or anything like that. So I just want everything to be seamless and fun and keep at it. But it's allowed me to do this live stream stuff and stuff during the day, which is really nice. So um, I live in New Orleans, Louisiana. Um, thank you guys. You guys are so, so sweet. Somebody asked me about a lash serum earlier. And I do not use them. So I worked in eye care for a couple of years and a couple of people, a couple of poor souls in my comment sections have gotten uh, lectures for me on lash serums <laughs> because I worked in eye care for a couple of years before my last job. I um, No, I don't use lash serums because I got to where I could, spot long-term Latisse users because you start to um, experience periorbital peri um, fat loss. You just get hollowed out underneath your eyes um, when you use lash serums regularly. And it is a class effect. It's not just Latisse. 
And um, yeah, I just, so I don't use them. I use brow serums on my brows and I can tell you that new brow works. So new lash would probably work, but I personally don't use them and I don't have thick lashes. I could benefit from the growth, but I already have hollows underneath my eyes and I don't want to increase the hollowness underneath my eyes. And yeah, so that's why I don't use them. So I do need a secretary, Tony. <laughs> um, let's see. Yes, uh, Sharon, I still take clients for social media consulting. So if you are interested in that, you can email me. My email is at the bottom of all of my description boxes. And you can join the Facebook group that is linked in my description boxes. But yes, I do. I am taking clients. And I also, um, let's see. I also, um, yes, sorry, I'm all over the place right now because I'm seeing all these other comments. And I also uh, started talking about in some videos that if you guys ever have just a quick question for me that you want a direct answer, um, like for you, like if you are curious if a color works for you for eyelining technique or about a product or a quick social media question, you want to answer direct for me because sometimes I miss comments or I can't answer thoroughly enough because the more I grow, the harder it is to answer DMs and comments because the DMs get lost or buried and it's just harder. Um, there is now a link in some of my description boxes for a platform where you can DM me a question and I will respond back with a three to seven minute video for you, like directly for you with an opinion or feedback or advice or whatever. And, um, you know, some people are doing it as like a monthly mentor type thing. And some people are doing it just to, you know, just ask me a question like, you know, should I line my lips like this? Should I, you know, that concealer question was a good question for that. So stuff like that. So it's something new I'm trying out. They approached me about it to see if I wanted to do it because they know how good, you know, good I like to keep my engagement and how close I like to keep the community. So we'll see how that goes. But I just wanted to throw it out there for you guys. Um, yes, lash serum. A lot of people don't know that about lash serums. And that's the thing. I just, we only have two eyes and they have to last our whole lives. So I, um, I don't know. There's all kinds of, that's why I don't tight line a lot and I don't ever line my waterline. Well, maybe like twice a year because it clogs your oil glands at your eyes. And as you, I guess, you know, right when you hit 40, everything starts to dry out. We're so lucky <laughs> and dry eye contributes to so much, so many problems and it can be really painful and that can all contribute to all of that. So, yeah, that's why I always tell people to stop lining your waterline. Stop, 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 stop. Mm. Somebody asked me if I've ever tried any of the whey products. Gretchen, I just talked about um, some of the, they have new body products that they sent me this week. And it was on my Instagram stories. And I've been using them for the past, like, three or four days. I love them. So they will probably, well, not probably, I've already put them. I've already written them down. They'll be a monthly favorites. And I've talked about their new super dry shampoo. Was that in my recent monthly favorites? I don't know, but I use several way products. I actually really like a lot of their products. Yeah. Risa and I talk about this. <laughs> she doesn't care. <laughs> She's one of my best friends in the world. She's going to do what she's going to do. <laughs> so, um, yeah. So Marlene, yes, there is a fee for the, um, the one-on-one -on -one advice for the video stuff. Cause I mean, it takes some time to look into the issue and then record the video and get it back to you. Yeah. It's kind of like private consulting one-on-one, -on -one, but it's for a short duration. So it's anywhere, I think, from 15 to 20. And then if it's for social media stuff, which is more thorough, it's that's a 40. Um, but like the smaller stuff, that there is a fee for that. 
because that's like private one-on-one -on -one consulting type stuff not like um not like a full 40 minute to one hour smaller consult like for social media where it would be like an hourly charge or something like that it's just a small you know if you want one-on-one -on -one advice type of thing um, cause it's something, you know, to fit into the day, but yet it's still something that I can help you with. So hope that makes sense. Um, but my thought was too, that if that does help you guys in some way and it's a good path, it would maybe help supplement the channel so that I could be even more selective with sponsorships and not maybe take as many sponsorships. And I mean, I feel like I'm already very selective about the sponsorships I take, but it might cut down on that too in some way. So I'm just kind of playing around and testing, seeing how things go. So <laughs> Cheryl says, but worth it for one-on-one -on -one with you. I love talking with you guys. It's just, you know, and it's hard, you know, cause it's kind of like opportunity costs. I mean, I can do this, but it takes away from doing something else, you know, and opportunity costs, right? It's all kinds of, you know, where do you spend your time and, you know, everybody, you know, I have some people that every time I do a sponsor video, you know, or if I ever do a sponsor video, they're like, this was, a pe this was paid. And I'm like, yeah, I mean, I have to make money. I mean, this video took eight hours to produce. I don't think you would spend eight hours at work for free. <laughs> you know, it's just funny. Um, <sighs> um, Gretchen says she, she has one of the whey perfumes and she was interested in the super dry shampoo. I swear I just talked about the super dry shampoo in a video. I know I did because I demonstrated it in the background. Hang on. Let me see which video that was, Gretchen. You can actually see me applying it. Um, I can look on my phone. I have this magical phone device. Oh, it was my last video. It was a video I put up Sunday. Did you see that video, the PR and Sephora haul update video from Sunday? Um, was that Sunday? What's today? Yes, that was Sunday. My very last video. I talk about and show the way super dry shampoo. So if you haven't seen that video, go watch that video. Cause I know notifications and videos are not being shown to everybody. So you guys either have to check on your, who you're subscribed to, to see if they're uploading new things or manually go in and check your subscriber feed to see who's uploaded new videos. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. But, um, the super dry shampoo, I do like it. And the new body products, if you're liking the perfumes, I like the scents of these two. Hey, Denise, we actually talked about Jeffree Star's new concealer earlier. I love it, love it, love it. And I will be talking about that probably in my Beautylish video because I'm gonna actually cover the Beautylish gift card event that's gonna be coming up this month, so. Let's see. Someone asked, I know I'm missing some questions. I'm so sorry. A good cream contour for over 50s, Kelly is asking. Cream contour. So I like, if any of you um, have a good cream contour, feel free to chime in. Um, I like the Fenty matchstick. I think that's what it's called. The shade that I use is amber. Um, there's some, another one that I like too, um, that I'm completely blanking out on. I think that I'm going to stick with that because I'm blanking out <laughs> on the other one that is like in the back of my mind, but I really like that. I think it's a great contour. You just draw it on and buff it out. And I feel like it blends in perfectly. And it's like the perfect shade of uh, shadow. It's kind of like, for the powder contour, the Kevin Aquan Sculpting Powder in Medium is the perfect shadowy shade for most people that are around my tone and up or down a little bit from me. This is the equivalent of that in cream stick form. <laughs> you guys are so great. Yes, the color of 
the Jeffree Star concealer will be listed below. I can't remember offhand and I'm in a different room because we had technical difficulties before the chat. So I'll list it below. Um, and Mar Maria KC says Wet n Wild has a great cream contour in their sticks as well. The Jeffree Star packaging is so fancy. Yes, it is very fancy. Um, the, oh, Heather <laughs> suggested that too, the, um, matchstick. Let's see. Um, why Naz says, do I like the scent of living proof products? Um, it doesn't bother me the way the scent of some other products bother me, bothers me, but it's not my favorite, but I do talk about that in the, my last video about, um, the way the scent is actually pretty decent because a lot of dry shampoo and texturizing shampoos, the scent is just, well, you know, but this one is actually, it smells pretty decent. So yeah, that I'm going to give you guys this piece of advice <laughs> regarding your subscriptions, because this is what I'm doing because I watch YouTube too. I am not just a creator. I'm a watcher <laughs> and I have been unsubscribed from channels that I like and I don't get notified of most people that I watch their videos. I every time I log into YouTube, I go straight to my subscriptions feed and I go through and I mark watch later, watch later, watch later. I add that to my queue for all the videos that I'm interested in. And I always, always watch the smaller creators before I watch the big, huge creators. And yes, that is biased for me, but it helps my smaller creator friends and people I'm not friends with grow and get their videos promoted because the bigger creators like the Jeffree Stars, the Tatis, the, you know, those guys, they don't need any help promoting their videos, but YouTube looks at that first 24 to 48 hours of your video to see if they're going to promote your video out. And it's the smaller creators. And I would say anybody below maybe 200,000, 300,000, those people are the ones that are having really major trouble right now getting their videos promoted out. I've even seen Wayne Goss have low views lately. It's like YouTube's doing something. They're not promoting our videos. They're not sending them out. We're not seeing things. People are just not really knowing what to do. So, um, yeah, a lot, it's a thing. And so I would say be sure within that 24 to 48 hour window, you're watching the people that you care about that you really want to see succeed and check your YouTube subscription feed, mark all the videos and then go into your watch later feed and just start, you know, watching your queue and pick the ones you want to watch and watch those first. That's what I do because I don't, I don't want YouTube to be in charge of who I see and who I don't the way Instagram is. That's kind of what they're doing but we have a way around that to where we can control it. So I control who I see. So that's what I do. Um, let's see. Oh, helpful and happy says there's free shipping on persona identity Two palette at Ulta today. You are helpful and it makes me happy. Thank you. Uh, oh my gosh, Chanel. Chanel has a wonderful bronzer, Marlene. Yes, it's a bronzer, but it's not really a contour, but it's a bronzer and it's great. You can kind of shape with it too. Yeah, you're right. I do love that Chanel bronzer. Um, Degar says, do you have someone who is your authority? I'm not sure what that means. Y'all heard Luke barking? Yes, yes, indeed. It probably means a package got here. Um, I always, I probably need to remind people about that subscription thing more because I think a lot of people still rely on notifications and the fact is YouTube fails at notifications on purpose. They're doing that with their algorithm. And I have people, subscribers all the time that are like, you know, they'll come tell me, you know, just letting you know, YouTube didn't notify me of your video. And there's, first of all, nothing I can do. And second of all, YouTube doesn't care. They're doing that on purpose. <laughs> <laughs> they don't care. <laughs> um, 
Yes, I, I do. I always try and watch Skin Skin Dippity. What a cute name. Says that's so awesome that you do that. I'm so new. I only have 40 subscribed, but I'm determined to keep learning and getting better. I'm always happy to support smaller channels. I've always tried to support smaller channels. I mean, I, I, I first of all, I'm not the biggest channel out there by any means, but um, I have never, ever forgotten what it felt like to be just starting out or new and to not understand all the nuances, which I mean, there's still things I don't understand, believe me, but I, I've never forgotten what it felt like to number one, be shouted out by somebody or to, you know, get help in some way, even if it's a small thing. I think that's so important to be helped out by someone who knows even just a little bit more than you. It, it can really help. So I just, I try, I try in some way to help you guys out, to help other creators out if I can. Um, yeah. And I love some of the big creators, but they don't need my help. The smaller ones do. So, and thumbs them up. I thumbs them up too. Samantha March is having some major problems. Yes, she is. Okay. That sounded bad if it was taken out of context, but she is, um, Yes, she's having a lot of people randomly unsubscribe from her videos. And we've been talking um, and I've been trying to keep up with what's going on with her. And it's sad because YouTube really doesn't want to help either. I didn't mean to go off on this tangent. Sherry is asking, are you still using Colleen Rothschild products? Yes, I actually um, got a PR package from them yesterday that I'm not supposed to show until the launch date. But they had a sale that I think ended yesterday. And I actually talk about several of their products in my most recent skincare routine video. And I do, I think Colleen Rothschild really does skincare right. I have sensitive skin, as most of you know, and her products just do well at doing what they're supposed to do while soothing my skin, which is nice. Um, let's see. like there was a question in here. Yeah, so you guys are very aware that the notifications are not <laughs> doing what they're supposed to do. Um, my favorite powder for blurring pores, the By Terry powders that I just talked about that I've actually been talking about <laughs> for several weeks now. Um, I love them. The Nikia Joy powder, I love. Um, I know there's other powders and I'm completely blanking out, but those are the two that come to mind right now at this moment. Yeah. <laughs> um, the Lancome long time, no shine is really good at blurring pores too. I will say I like it too, but right now these two are the ones that are being rotated the most. Yes. Carrie Lynn asks, have I watched any of the new Shane series with Jeffree Star? And if so, any thoughts? Yes. We talked about that earlier about how my opinion of Jeffree Star has changed so much over the past, I don't know, a few months, maybe even a little bit before this, but now it's changed a lot. And then I watched, um, you know, his video with the Dolan twins and the Dolan twins video with him and then well with Jeffrey and then with, their video with the with with the Shane with Shane, and it's I don't know I've just really done a 180 on Jeffrey Star, so I think a lot of people have. I have not tried Curology because they don't ship to New Orleans yet. They actually emailed me twice now to see if I wanted to partner with them, and I'm like, thank you so much for reaching out, but you don't ship to my state. <laughs> So that's going to be a no, <laughs> but I mean, I, I'm interested. I would love to try them, but no can do. So there's like state laws with stuff like that, shipping stuff like that. And so there's certain states that don't deal with them yet. And apparently Louisiana is one of them. I keep waiting, hoping so. Okay, apparently Maryland is another state. Yes, Samantha is so sweet. She Samantha March, if you are not familiar. Um, so she is very, very sweet. 
Yes. Okay. I knew there was one. I was forgetting a powder. Jamie says the it somebody else said it before. I missed it. The it cosmetics bye bye pores powder. It does also blur pores. I do find that it also gives a white cast in photos though. So be careful with that powder because it that will happen if you are having photos taken. If you're not, you're golden. But I do find it does give a white cast. But I do like that powder. I like the press version a little bit more than the loose. Oh, thank you. So I had, um, I keep saying, why Naz? Because her name is a little long. Thank you. It's the first live stream she's watched and she's definitely going to be back. Thank you. And she's glad I'm able to do this full time. Thank you. Just country girl says, how about them tigers? Go tigers. Got my cup today. Mm-hmm. Tell you what, um, I did not highlight your name. Did who highlight? Oh, I don't know. Maybe you're talking amongst yourselves. <laughs> the newer Stila powder in the buff. I love that stuff. And it does blow the pores really, really nicely. It is great. Um, yes. I, I feel like I have several powders that are sitting on my vanity and all of those are on there except the it by my pores. I mean, it hasn't been decluttered. I like it. It's just not sitting on my vanity, but uh, who's it could at some point. Sherry wants to know my favorite tinted moisturizer that cancels out redness. Um, Sherry, I have not actually done a top foundations video on tinted moisturizers. I think I have one on BB and CC creams. Um, I don't know if I really have, right? If I had to say right now, is the Sephora matte tinted moisturizer, is that that new product that I had in my last foundation roundup? I did a foundation roundup several weeks ago. If you scroll through my videos, it's going to be within the past few weeks. It's called foundation roundup. And I think it's called well, I'm the moderator. I didn't really set anybody today. Um, so I just moderated. Um, <laughs> I, um, I think it's called the Sephora Matte Tinted Moisturizer or something like that. It's fairly new and it's in my recent foundation roundup video. And it's really good. And it is like 18 bucks. So, yeah. Um, so I would say that right now. I can't think because I don't really use quote unquote tinted moisturizers unless I'm just blanking right now. But most people are, I mean, most, look, I'm reading those comments and I'm reading the words, but most are either CC creams or light coverage foundations. So um, I haven't tried the secret uh, cream by Dr. Jart yet. Um, I have not tried that. Who are, oh, you know what I've found is that at the end of every one of these chats, we always have people come in like this. It's always at the end. It's like, do they know it's at the end? I don't know, but it doesn't happen. I mean, I guess it's good that we don't have to deal with them all through the chat. But um, yeah, I've heard that about the scent with the Dr. Jar. That's why I didn't try it yet. But I don't know. People, I, I swear, you would think that people had something better to do with their days. I feel like I have the same thing at the end of every one of them. It's like, why? <laughs> Do you not have anything better to do than to go into a beauty chat and say stupid things? I don't know. Um, let's see. I was going to get in here and see if there was any other pressing question. Um, let's see. Let's see. 
I had somebody ask me how I store my makeup and I feel like that's a video question. And I had somebody in here and somebody here ask me what my favorite facial oil is and how I use it in my beauty routine. So you can see my beauty routine. Heather, it keeps hiding your uh, comment and I'm just having to re show it because it censors the word ass, but I just have to make it reappear. It's no big deal. Um, Skin Dippity, if you would like consulting or coaching, shoot me an email at the email that is in my description boxes or um, uh, you can follow the link in my description boxes as well. So just let me know. I'm happy to help you out. Um, there was another question um, in here. Eyeshadow palettes versus singles. That question is from Kelly. She would like to know my opinion on that. I like eyeshadow palettes because I just feel like I can reach in one and kind of get, well, most of the time, everything I need in one palette and they're easy to travel with. I do like the concept of singles because you can customize your own palette or you can, you know, kind of, you know, make things the way you want them. However, I find that I reach for those things less than I reach for palettes that are already put together for me. And I don't know why that is. I don't know if it's psychological or what, because I have piece parted together my own palettes and I have singles that, you know, technically would give me the perfect look, but they just sit there and I don't know why. <laughs> so it technically would, would be, um, the perfect thing. So you guys usually Sherry says, thank you for doing this. Love your office background. But miss my fur baby. Usually when I'm in here, he's right here. I think he's waiting on the mail because it's late <laughs> and he's not here. So I don't know why. Usually he's here and he has his head up on the window sill and he's looking out into the yard. Um, Amanda wants to know if I reach for a cream shadow before a palette. No, not necessarily before, but if I want a one and done look, if I'm in a hurry, I'll usually reach for a cream shadow like a quick look or, uh, you know, kind of get out the door fast and I'll just vary it up with cream shadows. I just, I do like a good one and done look. Um, Sab B, I have not tried the new Shiseido foundation yet. Um, Mona could not find me on Instagram. The link and the username for my Instagram is in every single YouTube description box that I have. So, um, find that at, it's at Steph Marie dot seven. Um, I'll put it right here. Marie dot seven is my Instagram. Um, Nikki wants to know it's great and harmless for bags underneath the eyes. I am not an eye bag expert and I apologize because I do get asked this. I mean, my standard answer would be some kind of eye cream that has caffeine in it or a procedure, but the opposite of eye bags, <laughs> I have hollows. And I would say the same thing for me is something that is going to create, you know, volume or fullness underneath the eyes or, you know, plump up the under eye area or filler. <laughs> I mean, that's the same thing. The under eye area is just so hard to deal with. It really is no matter what your, your issue is. Um, so I don't know. Bye guys. I know it's I'm getting ready <laughs> to leave, time to leave. We had technical issues at the beginning, had to start a new chat. I'll probably just go delete that other one. And we are at 113 on this one. What's the difference between cream and pressed powder shadows? Kelly wants to know, well, other than the formulation, nothing. I mean, you know, a lot of times the creams can give kind of a glossier look if they're formulated right. Sometimes creams accentuate bad things. Sometimes if a cream is not a good formulation, it can actually accentuate texture. But if it's a good, smooth formulation, it can really 
look really um, nice and smooth and beautiful and glossy on the lid and set well and last all day and you don't get fallout from it. Um, whereas just a powder is, you know, just a powder. So, and then application is different. I just find a cream, it just applies and blends smudges out very easily. Um, and I don't have to deal with cleaning up any fallout underneath. So that's the reason why I reach for a, a cream. And there's some shades that I find I can only get from cream shadows. I can't really get the same shades in powder shadows. And Amanda says, I love your cream shadow looks. They've helped me tremendously. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, Anne wants to know my top eyeshadow palette be considering price point and quality. Now that is just an unfair question. And I, <laughs> I don't know. I mean, there's so many variations. Um, uh, let's see, hang on. There's so many variations of eyeshadow palettes. I mean, you know, I love, I mean, I could give you different reasons for saying this one's my favorite today. You know, I mean, I really love the Marc Jacobs, there's a Marc Jacobs Iconic Glambition palette because I feel like it's slim, it travels well, the formulas are beautiful, there's not a lot of fallout with it. You can get a glam look, you can get a daytime look, pretty much everything you need's in there. I think it's great. But I still love my good old Tartlet and Bloom palette because, you know, it's a little bigger than the Marc Jacobs palette, but the formula is great. You can get a variety of looks, again, day to night, every day, smoky, and you can get more of a variety because it's a bigger palette. And you get a little bit more from your money than you get with the Marc Jacobs palette. But I also love my persona identity, the original one, because the formula there is great. Like I could, I, I probably have about 10 palettes. I could just be like, oh, these are all great for this reason, you know? And it's hard to say a number one palette. I mean, I would really have to prepare for that answer. <laughs> I'd have to sit there and look at all my palettes and narrow it down. That could actually be a project now that I think about it. Um, let's see. Yeah, nobody can pick just one, Kelly says, and I agree. Iman, how is chatting on Twitch different than chatting here? Tell me that. Um, Tartlet in Bloom is a great palette. Hi, Sapphire Lady. I have never streamed on Twitch, so I don't know the difference. I mean, how is it different? Let's see. Hey, Sherry. Sherry wants to know if I would consider doing a video on what makeup you're buying for Christmas gifts. I'm not sure if that would constitute a video for me, to be honest, because I don't, because I don't buy a ton of makeup for Christmas gifts usually. Um, I mean, I have a couple of nieces and other than that, I don't really buy a ton of makeup for Christmas unless I'm buying for myself, which is usually during the Sephora VIB sale. And I usually do that video. Um, and I might, you know, maybe my mother-in-law or something, but they watch my videos too. That's the other thing. Yes, Natasha Denona is expensive, but she has great eyeshadow palettes too. So, um, Let's see. I'm getting confused on some of the questions. Let's see. Um, okay. I'm not sure I understand. I love nude sticks eyeshadows as well. I've been asked like five times in this chat if I've tried the new Shiseido foundation. I have not tried it yet. <laughs> I mean, like a frequently asked question thing here. I've not tried it yet. Um, so, yeah, I still am not getting the Twitch thing. I understand because that emotes the streamers on Twitch. I already used to listen to them. I don't understand that. 
Oh, another language thing. Okay. Um, I was going to tell you guys something about the palettes. Um, as, oh, somebody asked me if I was still a fan of Shape Tape. No, not really. I don't hate it, but I have since found better concealers for me. So I think the, you know, the technique that I show in that video absolutely stands true for Shape Tape. Uh, I mean, you know, it does take a special technique to apply it or any thicker concealer like that, uh, for sure. But, uh, you know, the concealers that I mentioned earlier, uh, Too Faced Sculpting, Armani Power Fabric, Jeffree Star, the Milani Concealer. And there is another concealer that I am blanking out on. It's driving me crazy that I have just found to be better for my textured dry under eye areas that don't take as much blending out time that I don't need. I, I don't know. I just don't need to mess with as much and they just look better and they still cover. And I just, I don't know. I, it's just my personal opinion. I feel like shape tape paved the way for other concealers to come in and do things a little bit better for different types of under eyes, if that makes sense. And that just works better for me. So, um, Jody, I just created an entire playlist dedicated to drugstore makeup. So you will like that. <laughs> I have a whole bunch of drugstore makeup that I like. Yes, CK, the Too Faced Sculpting Concealer is the Born This Way concealer that I enjoy. Um, yes, I like the Milani Conceal Imperfect as well. Um, Maria, um, I actually just did a video on a no foundation look and I got pretty up close when I filmed it as well. So have a look at that. I had a video shortly before that where I did, um, it was just very light foundation and it's filmed super, super up close. And, um, Donna, I have a top foundations playlist where I talk about different types of foundations that are my favorite from different categories because, and, and, I have, um, well, it, it, it encompasses high end and drugstore in that, but, um, you know, I can't really say I have one favorite because I have, you know, it depends on the kind of look I want that day. If I want light coverage or full coverage, or if I want radiant or matte or what have you, if I want it skin like and that kind of thing. So, um, you know, that might help you to see that because um, I'm not quite sure uh, what, you know, what kind of coverage you want. So um, you guys are awesome. And it is time to end this chat. If I missed your question, please um, ask it in the replay, ask it in the comments, and I will definitely try to answer it there because I know this chat was moving kind of quickly. So I may miss some, may have missed some questions. Um, so, you know, feel free and I will have my shade in the Jeffree Star concealer in the description at some point within the next couple of hours. And hopefully I'll also remember some of the products we talked about that. We also talked about, and I'll have that in the, uh, comment section or the description box as well. And I will put that in my concealer match list on my blog too. So I really appreciate you guys being here. This was a fun one today. Um, I didn't get to some of these Q&A questions. I only got to a few of them, but I will maybe save those for next week's live because I try to do this every week or at least every other week on Tuesdays if um, the week pans out that way. So thank you guys. Check out my playlists if you are curious about certain types of videos. And I appreciate it. Thank you so much. I'll see you guys soon. Bye.